exercise as you'll find me on Instagram. And today we're doing some booty by Beth. I'm gonna show you my 10 favorite resistant band moves for glutes. Now resistance bands are actually one of my favorite pieces of gear because they are little and portable. You can take them absolutely anywhere and you can use them to do any kind of a workout. So whenever I travel, I always bring these with me. They fit right into my suitcase. They don't take up any space and I can get any kind of a workout on with these. They come in different weights so you can decide, you know, how much resistance you want to use. So today I'm gonna to be using the purple one because it is a bit heavier than this green one that I have here. So just in general, a lot of times I would use the green one for arm moves, you could use the purple one when you're doing any kind of leg moves. But all of the moves that we're doing today for glutes, you could do without the resistance bands too. So they could be completely body weight if you're just starting out, use a lighter resistance band, or if you are ready for it, go ahead and grab that heavy one for ya. All right, so. With these booty moves, a lot of the times they look like they're gonna be super easy. We're doing stuff on the bridge, or we're doing some moves out of the tabletop, but they are so highly focused on the glutes and the booty themselves that they burn, burn, burn. We're going through 10 of them, so you can do kind of a fun set of 50-10, do like a, a booty burnout at the end, or what might be fun too is to cluster some of them out. So some of them are sided, left, right? Um, so you could maybe take like three of those moves and do a six minute burnout at the end of a leg workout and that is going to get you on fire. All right, so let's get started. For our very first move, we're going to start out with a few in the bridge. So what I'm going to do is sit down on my butt and we're going to throw this guy up around your knees. So you need it just right above your knees. You're going to get into the bridge position. So what you want to make sure that you do is tuck your tailbone under so that your back is nice and flat. I'm going to push through my heels and squeeze up. So no matter what, remember we're working butt, so you got to squeeze that butt <laughs> to make it work some more. For this move, I like to come up onto my toes. Um, for me, that takes a little bit of the pressure off of my knees, but you could also leave your heels down. And what we're going to do is a clam. So you can press your hands into the floor, and we're just going to press our knees apart, in and out, in and out. And you are really going to feel this on the outside of those glutes. All right, second move, we're moving on to one-legged variations of this bad boy. So again, tailbone tucked, booty up, squeeze those cheeks. We're gonna kick one leg out and we're gonna bring it up to the ceiling. I'm gonna drop my booty down, barely touch down, and then drop that foot. So we're pressing through the heel of the standing leg so that the glute on this side is super, super flexed, dropping this one up and down. Now, variation of this guy, you're gonna hold this up so again, this leg is pressing down to the ground. That glute is on fire. And we're going to kick this leg out to the side. So in this instance, I'm working the outside of this glute. And I'm working this booty cheek by keeping those hips up there. And the whole time, remember, anytime you're in this position, you want to keep that tailbone tucked under as opposed to here with an arch back. And that's going to keep those glutes fired up for you. Those were our bridge variations. Now we're going to get into a tabletop. So from here, you're going to put your shoulders right over your wrists, keep those abs pulled in, knees are underneath the hips. We're gonna do another one leg move. So with this guy, we're gonna kick up. I like to flex my foot and I'm barely touching down and every time you come up to the top, you wanna squeeze that booty. So big, big squeeze. Similar variation of this, we're gonna do a rainbow. So you're gonna take your foot out to the side, Rainbow it up and over the other side. So over, over. This is just gonna get the gamut of that booty cheek for you. And whenever you're doing tabletop, you also wanna make sure that you are collapsing into your shoulders. So keep those shoulders nice and straight and strong. So beer planks are another favorite move of mine. You start the tabletop, you tuck the toes, you're going to pop those knees off of the ground. And just like that first move where we did clamshells, you're gonna do clamshells, but from a floating knee position. <laughs> so you press those knees out, out, out. The cool thing about this move is that it gets your full body, you're getting abs, you're getting arms, you're getting shoulders, all of it. All right, let's move in to some side moves. So with these, you're gonna lay on your side. You can just look like you're gonna be so chill hanging out here. You can rest your head on your elbow. I usually like to tuck my bottom knee and the first one is a leg lift. So flex the foot. 
again. And we're lifting up to the side. And you can use your hands as a little bit of a prop here for balance, or you can throw it up on your hip. And again, squeeze at the top. All right, these get better. <laughs> we're gonna do a clamshell here too. So you're gonna glue the soles of your feet together, your knees are gonna touch, and then you're gonna press away. Touch, press away. Again, more of that outer booty. Get in the work right here, and you always wanna use that band. See how far you can pull it apart to add on that resistance. All right, taking it up a notch. So, similar idea. What I'm gonna do is go knee to knee, and I'm gonna press my foot out behind me. Flexing the toe, press. Flex and press. So again, you want to think about squeezing whatever you're working in any exercise. So we're gonna squeeze the glute as we kick it back and flex that foot out. And our very last one is gonna be a heel toe. Ooh, baby, this one will get you. So just like the first move with the clamshell, those feet start together. So we're gonna be opened up in the clam and then we're gonna to touch our knees. So feet touch, knees touch. Feet touch, knees touch. This one, you will feel it, believe me. <laughs> All right, so those are my 10 favorite resistance band moves for booty. And like I said in the beginning, you can use any weighted band that you're ready for. You can do all of these with no band at all. You can do an insane straight up booty workout, combining all of those together, or break them up into little chunks and do a killer booty 